Workers at TEPCO have also reported a plunge in levels of chlorine and radioactive materials inside a utility tunnel after work began to pump out densely contaminated water. NRA officials say the readings probably dropped when low chlorine groundwater flowed into the tunnel. They say this could mean tainted water from the tunnel seeped into the soil and mixed with groundwater. The people in charge of Japan's crippled nuclear plants say they're facing their worst crisis since the triple meltdown at the facility. Every day, hundreds of tons of water accumulate inside Fukushima Daiichi. Hundreds more are believed to be seeping into the ocean after becoming contaminated with radioactive particles. In this edition of Nuclear Watch, we're looking at the latest on the effort to bring the situation back under control. Workers at Fukushima Daiichi have struggled to stop radiation from escaping into the environment ever since the 2011 earthquake and tsunami wrecked the facility. One of the main sources of contamination is the groundwater that flows from the mountains into the nuclear plant. Government officials used Tokyo Electric Power Company data to estimate the extent of the problem. They said approximately 300 tons of water was filtering through the site until early this month, becoming laced with radioactive materials and then seeping into the sea. Another factor is the ever-increasing amount of water accumulating inside damaged infrastructure. Once it makes its way into reactor buildings, it mixes with radioactive isotopes. For months, TEPCO workers have been pumping up 400 tons of water every day and storing it in tanks on site. TEPCO officials say they have about 1,000 tanks containing almost 340,000 tons of water. They say they're at nearly 90% capacity. Last week, workers detected a major leak in one of those tanks. About 300 tons of water escaped, releasing several quadrillion becquerels of radioactive particles. It was the worst single leak since the immediate aftermath of the 2011 accident. They're made of steel plates bolted together rather than welded. A resin sealant is supposed to prevent contaminated water from seeping out. Now, although the Japanese government has vowed to come up with measures to tackle the radioactive water leak, the situation may be worse than thought. As studies from last year indicate that radioactive water will contaminate the entire Pacific Ocean in just six years. Kim Minji reports. This graphic shows the gradual contamination of the Pacific Ocean due to leaks of radioactive water from the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan. The simulation, which was run by a German marine research institute, shows the entire Pacific waters being polluted by radioactive water in just six years. Although the results failed to grab attention when first released last year, experts now fear that the hypothesis may become a scary reality after the Japanese government recently admitted that some 300 tons of radioactive water have leaked into the ocean. Lisei Murata, a former Japanese ambassador to Switzerland, criticized the Japanese government and the operator of the crippled nuclear plant, Tokyo Electric Power Corporation, for its handling of the situation. The international community has also voiced concerns over the issue, but Tokyo, meanwhile, is busy drumming up support for its bid in hosting the 2020 Olympics. 2020 Tokyo, let's do well. Murata stressed the fact that Japan does not realize the gravity of the issue is more outrageous. A Russian nuclear research center had also advised TEPCO to take measures two years ago, just after the accident broke out, but Japan turned down the suggestion. It's now been two years and five months since the nuclear crisis, and Tokyo has finally set out to deal with the problem. However, experts say that it may be too late. The former ambassador also warned that Japan may lose its rights in its exclusive economic zone if it fails to block the leakage into the 200 nautical mile zone. Kim Minji, Arirang News.
to Japan where the Fukushima nuclear disaster is entering one of the most critical phases of its cleanup and some would say a very frightening phase. The Fukushima plant that was severely damaged during a tsunami in 2011 is leaking. It's causing the drinking water and seawater to be contaminated. There's over 300 tons of contaminated water believed to be pouring out into the ocean each day.